Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the SteelSeries engine and how to change like the buttons on your mouse on your or on your keyboard. So how you do that, first you download the app. So here, let me show you how. You go to SteelSeries engine, search it up. Um... And then you click on the first link. Steel Series Engine Software. And then you should be brought to this page and you download Windows or you download Mac OS. I am on Mac OS right now, so yeah, I click this. But I already have it downloaded too, so just just it's pretty self-explanatory. Just click on it and then it sends a zip and then you open the zip and then you follow the instructions it's pretty easy for windows i don't know how you do that but you guys probably know how to and right here it says the supported devices for this app my mine is the steel series rival 110 hold up this is the recently supported supported devices i don't know where the where the where all the supported devices are but chances are if you have um a mouse or a keyboard or a headset that has rgb or not even rgb like then the uh then the app should support it so yeah most most of the most of the stuff that are newer should be supported with this so yeah you go ahead and download that let me just close out of this now um you go ahead and open it up um, let me just search up where it is so steel series engine 3 i don't know like it's just gonna say steel series engine it could be 4 or something i don't know but hold up we close this my rival 110 says it's not connected so if this ever happens to you you just unplug it and plug it back in like like so and then now it's connected um so we click on that this is the only thing that steel series that i have you should have more more like items to choose from if you're using something else other than steel series but let's just go ahead and click on that um uh and then you get brought to this screen so here you could change what the buttons do so for example i have these two buttons doing different macros, copy and paste, and control B, which is cut on DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, so these are just the uh, different buttons. You can change them. It's pretty self-explanatory. The macro editor, you launch it, and then you could create new macros for here this to assign to. And yeah, if we just wanna click the if we want to click the middle mouse button if we want the middle mouse button to do something else we could just like do we could just like make the middle mouse button like sc scroll wheel up or something and then you click done but i don't want that right now so yeah and over here we have the sensitivity or the cpi i have the my two sensitivities on the default 800 and 1600 i use 1600 800 is a lot slower i use 1600 cpi and i like it but 800 cpi is another option and i don't really mess with that a lot and then we got the acceleration and deceleration i i recommend not to mess with that especially if you're gaming because it really messes you up and then the sensitivity gets really messed up too holding um angle snapping i don't know what that is don't mess with that either the polling rate is i don't know what that is but just leave it on default like leave the all these on default i don't re recommend messing with them and then here we have the led 
if you have a keyboard or anything it would be different but I only have a mouse and here is the aluminum here you click on that you get a different effects steady you could choose different colors for steady um, color shift is just fading and like multi multi color breathe it breathes um, single color breathe it breathes it breathes but with only one single color it's all of these are pretty self-explanatory disable illumination no illumination so yeah I usually use color shift you get it looks the best I recommend that too and yeah so you after you're done click on save and then we're gonna check out the library here it's this is pre prism prism think sync and that this is something else that's really cool since you could um, change the colors even more so I only have the mouse connected I only have the mouse turn it on um, now you could cho choose different effects and stuff idle reactive you know it's all these are pretty self-explanatory yeah now let's just close out of that that's pretty much it for the rival 110 app it's really easy to use and the hardest part is just downloading it and yeah that's it thanks